Hey there all YouTubers, welcome to the channel, it's all about the Q, barbecue that is. Well sometimes you want some barbecue and the weather's kind of crappy outside and you just don't want to deal with uh, setting up uh, this pit or that pit or dealing with that. I mean, but you always have the convenience of, of your oven in your own home. So what we're going to do is make some uh, barbecue spare ribs in our oven. Now the thing is uh, with uh, uh, barbecue is you you want to get that smoke flavor you know so we're gonna compensate uh, for that smoke flavor with the combination of rubs that we're using. Alright so what I have here is a full slab of uh, pork spare ribs that I trimmed up real nice into the St. Louis cut that will fit on my rack here. So I had to cut this little tail piece off and this piece off here and this uh, little piece of uh, meat off of the top of the brisket bone here there's really no nothing on there I'm gonna discard that we'll get rid of that so I have this nice little little piece of meat off the top of the brisket bone and this piece of flat flat meat that is from you know that flat meat that's the underneath side of your spare rib. Now what I'll be doing with that is I'll be uh, seasoning it with some salt and using this uh, Mrs. Mrs. Dash uh, Fiesta lime. But that's for something else. So I'm going to make uh, maybe a, a taco, uh, a quick little taco, little little lunch thing. But now these will all get seasoned. Now uh, let me show you the seasoning that I'm choosing uh, for the in the oven uh, barbecue ribs. All right, after I wash my hands there, the the rub that we're, we're going with here is Root Boy Rub number two for chicken and pork. And the ingredients are kosher salt, black pepper, onion, smoked paprika. Remember that, see, smoked paprika, that's going to give us a little smokiness. Uh, chili powder, that's going to give us a little extra smokiness and cumin uh, and uh, mustard and ginger so so there you have it so that we're gonna get a little smoke from the smoked paprika and that chili powder that's gonna give us a little bit of smoke flare now can you believe look at that I don't even have to tell you where I got this but would you look the color of that paprika that's gonna add a really nice color nice barbecue color so we're gonna put that on so if you noticed, there's no sugar in this. I'm not, I'm not down with adding sugar at the beginning of the cook, any cook, in, in the oven or on any of my pits. Sugar comes at the end. So the secret weapon and the key to this is going to be this Grippo's Gourmet Barbecue Spice. Now let me just show you and tell you the first ingredient on here is sugar that's a good thing at the end you want to put your sugar on at the end so sugar and it also has natural hickory smoke flavor there you go so there's more smoke so doing these in the oven we're gonna get a hint of smoke you know we will have smoke from this and we will have smoke from this don't have to smoke out on your grill if it's inconvenient for whatever reason no charcoal, no wood, no pellets, no gas, no whatever. You could do this barbecue all year round if the weather's crappy in your oven. And that's what we're going to do. And we'll depend and we'll see, but I do have this Low Bell's barbecue sauce and we may put that on there. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so let me get this seasoned up and enough of my yapping. And uh, this is the day before this is uh, afternoon the day before I don't care if I'm putting uh, barbecue in the oven or out on any of my pits you want to season your meat the day before usually you do that for getting salt into the meat which you will help uh, the uh, formation of the smoke ring but you will not have a smoke ring obviously using your oven but we will still have a little bit of smoke flavor, which is the key to barbecue, right? Yes, smoke.
from this and this. Okay, so as you can see, there was no no use of any binder. There's no binder. Well, I mean, where's the rub going? I mean, it's it's sticking and it's clinging to the meat. I mean, it's absorbing into the meat. You don't need a binder. Where I mean, where's it going? So uh, into the fridge it goes overnight. I'm going to put saran wrap over the top and and uh, yeah, all all the flavors and everything are going to be absorbed into the meat. And I have that uh, flat meat and that brisket meat. Uh, brisket bone meat uh, seasoned with salt and the Fiesta line and I'll be using that for for lunch so there you go overnight it goes alright so here we are the next day look at the color of that I tell you that cheap paprika really gives a nice color alright so with the seasoning sitting on that meat overnight getting nice I tell you so I have my my rack here and my drip pan. I give a quick spray of cooking oil on there. I'm gonna get those on there like that. Get that on there. Get that on there. Very nice. Very nice. All right, and then we have a preheated oven at 250. Now, just because we're doing this in oven, don't mean you have to. Use high temp. We're doing it just like it was out on the grill. I like barbecue to be low and slow. We're taking our time here. But we're in no hurry. This this isn't a race. This is barbecue. Take your time. 250 in a preheated oven. Alright, so here we are. 250 preheated oven. Middle rack. Middle rack. Just like that. And there you go. Just let it do its thing. 250. Alright, so here we are at the three hour mark. Three hours in at 250. Let's take a look here. Now, you know, just like my pits, I'm not opening the door, opening the lid, and looking at them. I, I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Look at those things. Now, just because my oven. The heat comes from the back left a little more. I'm going to spin these around. So they're looking good. They're right on course here. So here we go. Now there's not going to be any wrapping or none of that stuff. Just, just letting them go. 250. We're in no hurry here. Ain't in no rush to put no video out. We're making barbecue. Take your time. Alright, so here we are at the five hour mark. This is the point where we want to start probing and maybe take a temp. See what's going on here. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're, they're feeling really good. Oh yeah. See, that that's the kind of kind of probe tender that you want whenever you're doing low and slow. There's no hot and fast. Yeah, these 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 are these are these are done. Five hours. Look at that probe tender. Just wanted to slip in and out, just like a a knife through hot butter. So there you go. Okay. So now that these are are probing tender and and the uh, temp temp is definitely done. We're gonna go ahead and add that second layer of smoky flavor with the grippos and it also has the sugar so let's just go ahead and add that I, I tell you I could smell the smoky flavor right now so that's that's the that's the trick right there is to add that add that grippos or any other uh, rub or seasoning that you may find that that has a smoky uh, uh, flavor added it already to already to it so
there's our second layer of, of smoke. All right, so lastly, when you're making easy, smoky uh, barbecue spare ribs in your oven, you want to choose a, a barbecue sauce that has a smoky additive to it. So the, this sauce here has uh, a, a natural hickory uh, smoke flavoring added to it. So there you go. You will get your you will get your smoky smoky flavor just like if you did this out on a pit. And we're just doing easy uh, smoky barbecue here in your oven. Anybody could do it any time of year. That's all you have to do. Now I'm just going to do half. Just do half because I want to taste taste it without the sauce. I mean you do what you want but I mean it's just it's an easy way to make smoky barbecue in your oven any time of year under any conditions. Back into the uh, oven it goes just to uh, just to tighten up this sauce a little bit put a nice glaze these ribs are done all right so here we are 15 minutes to set that sauce to set that grippos now remember this is only the third time I opened this oven third time there's no spritzing there's no this that looking what's going on only the third time so let me get these out going to tent them with some foil and just let them rest. Alright, so there you have it. Look at those. You can see all that fat rendered out of there, so let's just go ahead. Tent those lightly and we'll be back and we're going to eat some ribs. That's right, we're going to eat some ribs. Alright, so after resting for about 10 minutes here, Let's go ahead, move these ribs over. Ah, wow, look at that. See those? They're looking pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and slice them up. How about that? It's been a while since we heard that. Alright, so obviously you are not going to have a smoke ring, but you will have a slightly smoky flavor because of the combination, the combination of the rubs and the sauce. Look at that, nice and juicy. Alright, so we're going to bring Mrs. HMB in and do some eating of these uh, these ribs. Mm. We had a nice bite. That was pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. I mean it's kind of a a, a phony kind of uh, smoky smoky kind of uh, taste. I mean it's not I mean you can't you can't duplicate you know barbecue out outside on a on a wood burning pit but, I mean, for someone who's looking for easy, smoky uh, barbecue ribs any time of the year, in the, uh... It's very tender. Fall off the bone. Fall off the bone. Okay. But it's not pulled pork tender. No. It's got bite to it. So, slightly smoky mm -hmm. without all the, uh outside stuff yeah and bad weather um well yeah yeah that weather is made for ducks out there yeah so yeah take your time people find rubs and sauces that will help give that uh smoky taste and flavor and you'll make good barbecue just take your time well, folks, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Metal on.